Well, Title 42 could be ending, meaning an influx of migrants arriving here in Houston. Fox 26's Domily Keith joining us live near downtown with what preparations are being made ahead of its ending. Domily. Yeah, Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner says the city is taking a look at what options may be available to provide support, but he says, quote, the city of Houston lacks the resources to help with the overwhelming needs, and that's why the mayor says he is grateful for organizations such as Catholic Charities. Even ahead of Title 42 ending, more immigrants are arriving here in Houston for help. At the moment, we see around 60 migrants a day and we are noticing an increase in that already. Catholic Charities of the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston is accepting immigrants who have Department of Homeland Security documents showing they are approved to be in the U.S. while awaiting their asylum hearing. The charity provides some of the buses to pick up migrants in El Paso and Eagle Pass, bringing them to Houston. Also look for transportation for them to get them connected to their sponsor. We offer them meals, a shower. We have our, we're able to utilize private rooms and you know, hotel rooms if needed. And the migrants in need receive a one or two day short term stay at a Houston hotel before taking a bus or plane to their sponsor, usually a family member in another U.S. city. However, as more people struggle post pandemic, the charity is seeing more migrants losing sponsors who can no longer afford to help and assistance for them isn't available. We're not a long term shelter and it seems that there are more migrants needing long term shelter meaning several weeks or months. And so we just don't have that option here in Houston. And we know a number of Houstonians want to help. And while new volunteers are not being accepted right now in Catholic charities, the organization is accepting monetary donations. Reporting live near downtown Houston, I'm Domilee Keith, Fox 26 News.